Dr. Valikology. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Valley College from Tehran, Iran. Uh, I'm very pleased to be attending the International Conference on the Caucasus in Baku for the second time after the Second Karabakh War. As you know, the relations between two countries have developed uh, uh, significantly in uh, recent years, uh, including a recent agreement between Tehran and Baku to build uh, a 55 kilometer highway and railway uh, line between Zangilan and Nakhchivan via Iran that you mentioned it in your speech. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, there are uh, some concerns that uh, need to be addressed. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of these uh, concerns is what's happened uh, as the fifth Congress of World Azerbaijanis Congress in uh, Shusha last week. Unfortunately, some other Iranians who attended uh, the summit spoke openly against uh, the territorial integrity and the national security of Iran, as well as the separatism of other regions of northwestern western of uh, my country. Uh, unfortunately, the dream of the forming a greater Azerbaijan and uniting the two sides of Aras River, uh, clearly raised by these individuals and uh, groups, and this issue caused concern and unhappiness to many of my colleagues and, in, and also people in, inside Iraq. Yesterday, I talked uh, with Mr. Hikmat Hajiev. Uh, in this regard. Mr. President, you are aware of Iran's positions, uh, uh, Iran's position in defining of uh, the, the territorial integrity of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the last uh, three decades. Iran's position in the Second Karabakh War was also quite clear. The common language, religion, religious, uh, and values of uh, other regions of Iran and people of the Republic of Azerbaijan is a great capacity and social capital uh, for the development relations between two countries. And it should not become a political tool for separatism and creating uh, difference and tension between uh, two countries. These people have been invited to an official and governmental meeting in Shusha, and we expect the government of the, our Ministry of the Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan to react this, uh, their statements and interview and speech, and their speech in order to reduce the concerns and discomfort inside Iran. I will be very happy to know your position and opinion in this regard, which will definitely be reflected inside Iran. And also, my second, my short question uh, is uh, about uh, determining the borders between the Republic of Azerbaijan and Armenia uh, after the Second World uh, Karabakh War that you mentioned in your speech. We hear a lot of news about the basis of the Soviet era maps including maps of Soviet, uh, uh, Soviet mil uh, Ministry of Defense in 1920 decades uh, to define the borders between two countries. Uh, but uh, including it was uh, discussed during your meeting with Nikol Pashinyan and uh, Vladimir Putin in Sochi. Uh, the question uh, is, uh, which official map of the Soviet Union, uh, Soviet Union uh, prayed, uh, was agreed uh, uh, between you and Armenia and Russia for uh, determining the borders? Again, thanks for your hospitality and for your kindness uh, and invitation to the conference. Thank you very much. Uh, talking about the maps, we do not have so far any kind of uh, uh, you know, basis for that. And um, we haven't seen the maps which uh, you mentioned. 
And our position is that while defining the border, we should take into account history and, um, of course, the maps which were uh, available and which are available after the Sovietization of the Southern Caucasus. We cannot concentrate on only one map. There have been many maps, starting from 1918, when uh, Erevan was part of Azerbaijan, and also before uh, 1920, November 1920, where Zengezur was part of Azerbaijan. And what is today Iranian-Armenian border was inhabited by Azerbaijanis and had uh, no relations to Armenian nation. Uh, November 1920, it was a decision of Soviet government to give Zengezur to Armenia. But when it was given to Armenia, it was not given in today's shape, not in 42 kilometers, but much narrower. Then, by different uh, tricks, Armenians managed to expand the territory which today is uh, the only border between Armenia and Iran, and expand it up to 42 uh, kilometers. Therefore, our position is that we will take all the maps, starting from 19, uh, for instance, 18, or even before, until uh, 1991, when Soviet Union collapsed. But that, of course, will be part of uh, negotiations of our joint working groups. Uh, addressing your first comments, I just wanted to clarify with you. You mentioned somebody uh, contested the territorial integrity of Iran. Was it a member of our government who did it? Of, of Azerbaijani government who did it? No, no, no. But, uh, but you mentioned Shusha, uh, Shusha Congress. Yes. It was member of our government who who contested Iranian territorial integrity? Not governmental. But whom? It is, uh, 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 for example, is a uh, center of Tabriz uh, studies in Ankara in, uh, or in Turkey. In is it some uh, individual and groups? So the non-governmental participate in yeah, the conference. Yeah. It doesn't have any uh, connection with Azerbaijani government. No. No, but if, if, if they participate in the, uh, this conference in Shusha in Azerbaijan. But not Azerbaijani citizen. Yes, I know, I accept. But they participate in an okay. official uh, meeting in, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the inside of Azerbaijan. You know, today you see how many participants from uh, different countries here but each of them represent their country. And for instance, if you uh, be, for instance, a citizen of some uh, other country and say something, Iranian government should not be responsible for that. That's why um, I think your uh, comments, they have nothing to do with uh, Azerbaijan-Iranian relations. Position of our government and the government of Iran on uh, territorial integrity of two countries is very well known and is not questionable. And on many occasions, we and um, Iranian colleagues uh, publicly elaborated on that. There have been uh, more than 400 participants. And uh, in Azerbaijan, in the democratic society, people are free to, to say what they want. They have their position, we can agree or disagree, but uh, we did not control the participants. We did not give them the thesis what they can say and what they cannot say. Azerbaijan is a free country and uh, everyone, our citizens, foreign citizens, they are free to say uh, whatever they want. Of course, if it is not uh, contradicting our legislation. But uh, at the same time, uh, we do not uh, bear responsibility for those who live abroad and have uh, some uh, other views on different items. Important is that Azerbaijani government and its representatives in their remarks are very responsible in relations with uh, our neighboring countries and in general with all countries. But uh, as a small illustration to uh, what you said, I can uh, tell you that there are uh, 
uh, number of people who got sheltered in Iran and who on regular basis uh, contest territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. During the Caspian uh, Littoral Summit in Aktau, uh, during my uh, meeting with uh, then President Hassan Rouhani, I gave him a list of almost 20 Azerbaijanis who live in Iran and on a regular basis through media and social network they not only contest uh, the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan, but they uh, use uh, such a vocabulary that is not appropriate in the normal society. And we demanded these people to be handed over to Azerbaijan because of their direct participation in the, um, in the little attack on policemen in the city of Ganja. And we have evidences. But unfortunately, none of them have been handed over. Therefore, uh, if one person uh, who is not a citizen of Azerbaijan said something in Shusha, Shusha is an open city. Uh, there are thousands of people come there and uh, express their will, even participated at the event which uh, was organized by Azerbaijan, should not uh, be a reason for this reaction. We should look uh, at the official statements of officials, Iranians and Azerbaijani officials. They are uh, saying what I said. Territorial integrity is the red line. And our territorial integrity was always questioned uh, by Armenia. And I think that we should concentrate on that and not to pay attention to some comments which Azerbaijan has nothing to do with. Well, so we know all this, Dr. Khalid Taimur Akram. Dr. Khalid. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Khalid Taimur, and I am from Islamabad, Pakistan, sir. 